Muhammad is after all. He's very nice about Tafik. He's in the neighborhood. He's the brother in law of Sention, Rabbi Sention, the son in law of Rabbi Sakat. He, Chabad, has a tremendous respect for the Rambam. And being that today is Yaskara, he very much wants to say some words. So, the problem. Thank you very much, Rabbi Sharabani. He's just going to say something short. At the end of the Rambam, the Rambam writes in Perik Yud Aleph of Hilchot Malachim, Bechol mi she'eno ma'amin bo, or mi she'eno ma'amin bo, or mi she'eno ma'amin bo, or mi bo, mi she'eno ma'amin bo, or 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 mi she'eno ma'amin in Malach HaMashiach, in his coming, is something that's only said through the Nevi'im, through Yeshaya Anavi, through the Nevi'im, but it's Torah, Hamishu, Chomishu, Torah, and Moshe Rabbeinu. After that, the Rabbim brings a proof. He says, Shalei HaTorah, Hidol, Rasulah Ba'atmo, Meidal, Al Melech HaMashiach, Bola Gora. Shalei HaMal, the Rabbim brings a posseh. From Parshat Nisavi, we say the Rabbim, or I say it at least, I'm not sure how it is in the Nusach Esparad, you see clearly, it says that you're going to be Kibbutz Galayot. After that, the Rabbi means another Pasuk. After Parashat Zilom Nemar, the Shom Nibo, the Shnei HaMashichim. There's a, the Bulam says, I go by the two Mashiach. Anybody knows who's the two Mashiach? I see him and not now. The Rabbim says, Zed David. Then Bilam continues, Ashurenu, the late Torah. I see him and he's not close. Who's this going on? This is going on. Zah, Malach, Mashiach. Then the Rabbim brings a whole lot of food. He brings all the Pesukim of Parsh of Zilom. Then Ashkrek of Meyakrek, Zed David, the Kamashemet, the Israel, the Malach, Mashiach, the Mohat, Spice, and Moed, Zed David. And he brings a Rai, the Chay, the Meyakrek, the Moed, the Moed, the Machadel. The Karka, the Kobun, the Shay, the Malach, the Mashiach, the Shemel, the Moed, the Shemel, the Moed, the so he brings all the children of Bashar's Bilam and he says, This is going on, David, this is going on, Malach HaMashiach. So the Rabbi asks two questions. First of all, why does the Rabbi bring both Psukim over here, both Rais? The Rabbi, as many times, didn't just in Bashar's Bayachim, he said, When Yosu Shayit me Yehuda, and the Chaykit me Benarago, I asked the Yogi Shiloi, and what he can say, who is this Shiloi going on? We're going on Malach HaMashiach, but the Rabbi doesn't bring it. He also will like Gidol HaKad, like Shemikah Ezra, Ma'achir Sayyomim. And so too in Pasha Sahasidu, there's many places in the Torah where it mentions the Gula and Mashiach, but the Rabbi doesn't bring it. That's one question. Why doesn't he bring other places? Another question, the Rabbi does not bring the Pesukim in order. The first that I bring is from Pasha Smitzavim, which is in Chumash Varim. The second proof is from, from Chumash Babit Bar, from Parshat Bilo. Why is he bringing it in order? First Parshat Bilo, and then from Parshat Mitzavim. In Pirush HaMishnayot, the Rambam says also, Umish is tapik boy, Oishin is smart, Esli ma'alosoy, Kofar ma'teiro, Shiyot boy ba'teiro ba'teish, from Parshat Bilo, or from Parshat Zachar Mitzavim. In the Pirush HaMishnayot, the Rambam brings it in the order, the way it's in the Chumash. Over here, he doesn't bring it in the right order, the same order. And also, once you're bringing a proof that Hashem will bring everyone to Eretz Yisrael, why does he need to add a proof of Hashem's bill? What's not enough with the first proof? So to answer these questions, first of all, the Rambam says, He doesn't just say it's enough to believe in the Geula, that the Geula is going to take place, but you have to believe that the Geula is going to happen through a Melech HaMashiach. Hillel, it says in the Gemara, Hillel said, Eilah HaMashiach will Yisro, Shekhar HaFalu Bamei Chizkiah. There's no Mashiach. He already ate Bamei Chizkiah. So why do all the Mepharshim, the Rashi, the Ram, they say, what does it mean that, uh, that Hillel, Hillel HaZokim said there's no Mashiach? What is he, some Apikoyus in the street? 
So they explain he believed that the Gula is going to come through the Abishta himself. The Ram says, I don't know what you mean. The Abishta. You know who that is. Yeah, Abishta, okay. He writes, I can't just borrow the Atzva. But he got him the Vado. Hashem is going to bring the Gula by himself. If he didn't want to have been Zoha, the Gula would have come to the Malach HaMashiach in the times of Chizkiyahu. Because they weren't Zoha, so he'll be by a Kaddish Baruch by himself, without the Malach HaMashiach. So therefore, that I'm emphasizing, it's not enough to believe in the Gula in general, but for me, Shaino Ma'amin, Bo. For me, Shaino Ma'akel, Biato, Hayadim Ma'amin, Zorak Shagula Yitrakesh. And she said, Yaya, we did Malach HaMashiach. Now the Ramam needs to bring a proof. Parashat Nitzavim, there's no proof. It doesn't say, it says, what does it say? V'shov, Hashem elikach ha'shvuzcha. V'v'yach ha'shem, it says HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It doesn't mention Baruch HaMashiach. Therefore, the Ramam can't only just bring Parashat Nitzavim. He has to bring Parashat Bilam. Parashat Bilam, it emphasizes that there is Mashiach, Mashiach Arisha, Mashiach Ha'acharim. There's a Mashiach also. If so, let him just bring Parashat Bilam. Why does he also bring Parshas Mitzavim? And also, why did he bring Parshas Mitzavim first? So the answer is that Amun says that if you don't believe or wait for Mashiach, says the Torah, the Chumash itself, was Me'id, both in Mefurash and Mashiach, like the Rambam says after the first proof, after only the first proof of Parshas Mitzavim, he says, this is a raya mefureshet. The Rambam can't bring a proof that it says in Midrashim. The Rambam brings a proof that has to say clearly in the Torah. The first proof is a clear proof. Parshas Bilam is not a clear proof. Therefore, he brings first Parshas Mitzavim, which there it says clearly, But it's also not enough. He has to add a proof from Parshas Bilam that it mentions that it's going to be through Malach HaMashiach. I wish more time for that. Shabbos <laughs> 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 It doesn't say, that's why he brings it second, because it doesn't say clearly, like you're asking. That's why he brings Pashat Nitzavim first, because it's a clear proof. Bilam is not clear, so he brings it second, even though it's earlier in the Torah. But from Pashat Bilam, he says, and I'm going to explain that it's talking about Malach HaMashiach. A person is going to fight wars, he's going to win over all the guys, but Karkar Kod Neshet, you're thinking about a person that's moving, that's fighting, that's winning, that's... So that's why, and the question is, he says, the Mashiach and Yishon Shul David. So there's two questions over here. Number one, why is David the first Malach HaMashiach? Isn't it more Matim to say Moshe Rabbeinu as the first Malach HaMashiach? That he'll take, that Moshe was the first Goel. Why is David the first Mashiach? And also, what's the Nafka Min Allah that David was Malach HaMashiach? Who cares? The Ramam over here is coming to tell you Alakha. You need to believe, you need to wait for Mashiach he's going to come. What's the Nafka Min that David HaMalach once upon a time was also Mashiach? So the, one of the answers, so there's many answers, I don't have time to answer all of them, but one of the answers is that Ramam is coming to bring a chazek to Amunah and Biyat Mashiach. And someone is going to know that Mashiach is not a new thing. It had, there was once upon a time we did in Galut, and Mashiach came, and he took them out of Galut. This is going to make it automatically more logical and more easier to believe to have the Amunah in Biyat Mashiach, the Mashiach is also going to come in the future. You just tell someone about something that's totally new, you, you, it's hard for him to believe, but if something happened already in the history, so it's easier to believe that it's going to happen again. Or like the Mafashim say, it's one nevoah. Bilam's nevoah, and the, it's one nevoah, just like it got fulfilled the first half of the nevoah by David Amalek, so it's Machazek the Amunah, but also the second half of the nevoah is going to be fulfilled through Malach HaMashiach. And then the main thing is that he shall come right away tonight. Amen. Amen. Amen.